Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and today we are going to be doing a sheet and haul. It's going to be all about bottoms and two-piece sets today. It's a bit of a fall fashion type of haul today and I'm really excited for it. I'm also going to be doing, also going to be doing a video about tops and outerwear for fall. So if you're into it, feel free to subscribe to my channel so that you are up to date with all the videos I post. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so this is the very first item. Um, this came in a set from Shein. It is this sweater and it has a bit of a like crochet design in it. It comes with the matching skirt at the bottom. They're both pretty stretchy and it's like a very light pink color. It's basically the whole thing is crocheted. I saw this kind of outfit type of vibe on Pinterest and I thought it was kind of cute. So I was like, hey, let's see how it works. I probably would not wear the skirt on its own. I would really only ever wear this outfit together. I maybe would pair the top with like a pair of jeans or something. But other than that, it is like a, is it a mule's neck or a cow's neck? I don't remember what the term is, but it's it's not like super turtlenecky. It's more just kind of like eh, and sitting right there. The whole thing is pretty stretchy. It is also pretty warm as well. That's this one. Let's move on to the next. So the next one is this two-piece set. It is just a brown jumpsuit, sweatsuit type of situation. Um, I always see these on Shein, but I never get them. This one was pretty warm, surprisingly, because it has this really nice, soft, kind of feels like felt type material on the inside. And then you got your stretchy band for the waist and you got your drawstring for these bottoms, nice and comfy. You got the stretchy bits at the bottom as well around your ankle, so you do get that ruching at the bottom, which is really nice as well, and it gives it a nice vibe. I would definitely pair these bottoms with just like a plain top and not match it with the with the sweater that came with it. So the sweater is a lot more oversized than I wanted it to be. Um, Especially since the pants just fit perfectly, the sweater was like very big. I think maybe I would like something that was maybe more cropped, but then again, like this is what the picture was showing. This is what I purchased. So super simple crew neck. Um, I got these in a medium. It's also saying a US 6 on here. Got that band around the wrist as well. So that comes in nicely and hugs you real tight. It was a cute little set and yeah, that's this one. On to the next one. So the next one on the list is these jeans. Now, <laughs> it is from the Shein SXY line. And honestly, I just like how jeans and clothing fit from this line. These are just a wide leg pant. Uh, they're not super high waisted, but they just kind of fall right at the mid section, um, like right at your lower waist. I think that's kind of coming back in as well, the, the low rise jean type situation, but this is a nice one. Um, just a zipper fly with a one silver button at the top. You got your pockets, these are real pockets. I know some jeans come and they are not real pockets, but these ones are definitely real. Um, it's a pretty wide bottom. It's kind of giving Scooby-Doo. It's giving shaggy, it's giving disco, it's just giving a different kind of vibe. I don't know if I absolutely love it, but hit up the comment section below and let me know how you feel about these ones. And let's move on to the next. So the next one, I got another wide leg pant. Once again, these are all real pockets. This one didn't fit as nicely as the other one did. I found that the waist section was a little bit wider. With things with Shein, I just find it's always best to just go by the sizing chart on that item of clothing. It's not horrible. Like, it's not horrible, but I also don't love it. I think that for jeans, I really like the mom jean type look. Wanted to try this out, but you could dress it up with pretty much anything you could wear it with like a, a booty uh, with a little heel you could also try it with uh, just some like runners some sneakers but these jeans were not too bad and they were comfortable the only thing was just the waist section but not every jean is gonna fit perfectly um, just throw some a belt on and keep pushing you know what I'm saying so that's these guys and yeah let's move on to the next so the next one we have here, this one is a little more like a mom jean. Uh, it is a stone wash denim. We got a couple of rips going on at the bottom. 
just down here. I tended to kind of roll the bottoms up on these as well. And uh, I think these just look better with sneakers, just more of a casual look. On the front here, you got your stone wash, nice zipper. Once again, this was a size medium. It fit pretty nice as well on the thigh section. Once again, the waist was a little bit bigger for me. And these ones definitely went up higher than the first wide leg jean. Um, and I kind of liked these ones just because it had that interesting kind of ripped uh, denim situation at the bottom. I think maybe I would have liked it better if it wasn't a full stitch at the bottom and the bottom was like frayed out. I think that would have looked really nice with these jeans as well. But the, the quality of the jean is feeling very, you know, Urban Planet, very Forever 21. It's not going to be like your Levi's or your... Um, what else like what other like maybe guess if you get your jeans from guess it's even maybe comparable to like h&m jeans as well so let's move on to the next one super simple this one's not too bad on to the skirts so this one it is a hound's tooth design now i was not expecting this to be the material that it is but it is a very like stretchy like stretchy waist stretchy band uh, skirt. I thought that it was going to be more like a denim or more of a stiff type of skirt, but it is not. Um, but either way, it's still not horrible looking when, when you put a, an outfit together with it. It does have these little um, hanging hooks, um, hanging loops on the inside if you do want to. If you do hang your skirts, do you hang your skirts? I don't. I throw my skirts in the, in the closet, or not in the closet, in the drawers. I actually don't have a lot of skirts, to be honest. I just find them a little clumsy. I, I don't I don't I just don't feel as comfortable in skirts as I do in jeans or pants or sweatpants. I don't know. I like I like to feel comfortable, right? No pockets on these. I do love pockets. So if it does have pockets, it's not it's automatically not going to be my absolute favorite. You just got to really pair it nicely. I think just a black turtleneck is a vibe. Tights and you know some booties or something with a heel is always a good look when you have a skirt. So. This is the houndstooth skirt, super simple, super easy. Let's move on to the next one. And the next one is this skirt. It is brown. It has a another houndstooth pattern, but it is significantly smaller. It's like brown and beige. Um, I really liked this one. I really liked how it fit. It's not just a plain straight or triangular type of skirt it actually does have some body and some dimension and some pleating and stitching and i actually really like the smaller houndstooth design and the color of this one better than the other one i don't know if you could see that there's more time and thought put into the skirt than the other one you know it has it has a zipper and if i flipped it inside out like you can see that there's actual stitching and pleating and things going on in this one in contrast to the previous skirt where it was just kind of like we're gonna stitch two pieces of fabric together and bam you got a skirt <laughs> and yeah so that is the last one this is the small houndstooth brown skirt with a zipper at the back it was a vibe i'm not super into skirts but this one might have changed my mind <laughs> And that is my sheet and haul for bottoms and for two-piece sets. If you are into it, feel free to subscribe to my channel so that you know when I upload new videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit up the comment section below and let me know which one of these bottoms or two-piece sets were your absolute favorite. And I will catch you guys in the very next video. Bye!